Tonight, investigators have identified the seven people killed in the crash of a World War II era plane in Connecticut, and two of those victims were from Massachusetts. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. The NTSB just laid out the first steps in its investigation. WBZ's Christina Hager's live force in Connecticut tonight with the latest on the crash. Christina? NTSB officials explaining in a news conference just moments ago that even though so much of that World War II bomber was destroyed and in the crash and the burn that occurred afterward, they were able to salvage some key components, including the engine the crew may have been calling the tower out about before the crash. We were able to determine that the plane made contact with a pro the approach lights at about a thousand feet from runway six or the threshold of runway six and had hit in some way uh, about 30 approach lights which are on breakaway poles. This, the latest from federal investigators a day after the Boeing B-17 World War II bomber owned by a Massachusetts-based history organization crashed at Bradley International Airport. Seven people on board killed, seven others left injured. The NTSB joining airport and environmental crews gathered around the wreckage. We do know that from some of the witness marks and some of the video that, it, that the plane was at one point a bit right wing down. As the investigation unfolds, Connecticut State Police announced the victim's identities. Jim Roberts from Ludlow, Massachusetts. Gary Mazzone, seen here with his son, worked for the Vernon, Connecticut Police Department for more than two decades before becoming an inspector for the chief state's attorney. He was a great man. He did a, a lot of tremendous work for the town of Vernon and the state of Connecticut, and he's going to be missed. Also killed, insurance analyst Rob Rydell, whose stepdaughter says he was a history buff. This trip was on his bucket list to do. He died doing something that was really dear to him. Investigators say the crew called the tower about an issue moments after taking off with 13 people on board, then circled back around before the crash landing. And officials say even though it sounded like the crew was indicating there was a problem with at least one of the plane's four engines, they're looking into the possibility there may have been problems with other engines as well. In Windsor Locks, Connecticut, Christina Hager, WBZ News.